Good day, YouTube. It is the 1st of March, 2023. This is a 2002 Scots 2048 S2048, to be exact. It's uh, built by John Deere. Four Scots has 20 horse Kohler engine in it, and it has an issue. The issue is when you put the brake on, you can start the engine. If you let the brake off, the engine will die. You can put the brake on, you can start the engine, you can pull out the PTO switch, the engine will die. The seat switch is the typical culprit, and I once had a jumper on it, and then uh, with some suggestions from folks, and after testing the switch that was in here when I got it, but was collapsed and taped up, um, realized in the seated position, this should be open so right now it is open however I have tested it a million times with the jumper in or the jumper out it is only a two wire two wire switch okay let's look at the other two switches all right so there's a brake switch under here And if you can see the back side of the two rivets that hold that switch in, there's four wires going to it. We know the brake switch works because it will start when you push the brake in and it will die when you let off the brake. Okay. And around the back, here is the reverse switch. Okay. It is activated. I'll push on the reverse with my hand. I can't do it very far, but... There we go. That's the reverse foot pedal that pushes the reverse switch. I haven't tested that switch with a meter, but I'm not sure why, it, if it, even if it didn't work, what the issue would be. You should still be able to let the brake off with it in reverse without it dying. So I can't see that that is the issue but I haven't tested it there's only two wires going to that so there's three wires coming to the rear of the machine one is common to both the seat switch and the reverse switch and then they each have their own wire okay all right let's demonstrate what it does I can push the brake pedal down and make it start as soon as I let off it will die push the pedal down to make it start and then when I pull the PTO it will die so you can see if I push the buttons back in it'll stay running so is it the seat switch doubt it <laughs> I've tried it jumpered, I've tried it not jumpered. It's the same, it works, it runs the same. Um, the reverse switch, why would it be the reverse switch? This thing should be allowed to uh, let the brake off or run the PTO in reverse. Um, there's no reverse override that I, I mean, there's no button on the dash or anything that overrides the reverse, I have some tractors that have such a thing if this has it I don't know where it is someone did send me a, what appears to be a usable wiring diagram for a, maybe a slightly different model I haven't really dove into it yet but it looks promising I'm going to start looking at it so anybody have any suggestions I'm all ears but Everybody says it's seat switch. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, but again, I'm not poo-pooing anything. Got to make this thing go. Um, it's a bummer that you get up here and you know no wires are numbered. The relays aren't labeled. You don't know what's what. You start to diagnose this thing a little bit. You don't know what's what. Other than tear the wiring harness completely apart... Um, I got a lot of questions. Battery is new. 
I charge it every day because I started a lot. Um, cables are new ish. Yeah, there's no connection issues. I am a retired electrician. I get it. I've diagnosed many, many things in my career. This one has me stumped. Why isn't it work? If I understood everything about how it works, I'm sure I could fix it, but I don't. Um, anyway, if you could help, let me know. I need help. Thanks. Catch you on the next one.